All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are reading One Piece chapter 1053. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, but also month break after this. So uh, it's going to be brutal. Um, looking forward to it regardless. Hopefully it's going to be a banger final chapter onto, for this hiatus. Um, it's not, it's like, a, I wouldn't call it a hiatus. It's a month break, but it's scheduled. It's fine. Oda needs to do some work. Um, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, enough more to say, just want to get into this chapter. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this chapter right now. So front cover this week is a front cover for uh, One Piece film Red. Uh, we've got Luffy here, uh, Uta, Uta, I believe, uh, who the main, the main heroine. And then I believe this girl on the right is the actual voice actor or uh, artist who does um, Uta's voices, voice, I believe um or singing voice specifically i think um which Oda has done an illustration of <laughs> illustration of which is really cool um yeah that's a really awesome front cover for this week's show and jump Ooh, and we have a nice color spread as well interesting who are these characters oh odyssey nice okay so these are the game characters that's awesome bro this color spread's so clean it's fucking crisp hell nice um so page one what is the meaning of this photo all shook up Chapter 1053, The New Emperors. We never approved it, and I thought we told you to remove the D. No, no, sir, we weren't told about that. The photo was sent in by CP0's Guan... Garanika, Sam Garanika Sama. Reprint it. The world cannot be, be permitted to see this. We've been trying to contact the printers, but I'm afraid it's no use. <laughs> then cease distribution, distribution immediately. <laughs> what a... <clears throat> Excuse me. What a mystifying appearance. All right, people. It's up to us to spread this around the globe. Cypher Pole's transmission from Wano broke off right after they spotted Big Mom's ship. The gears of the world won't stop turning. I won't let their propaganda slide when the real story is this thrilling. Uh, that's fucking awesome. Hell yeah. I like that the, the news of the world isn't, uh, you know, covered up. It's not controlled, you know, fully by the government. It's like a live show. I can't get enough. The bombshell news of the defeat of the emperors, Big Mom and Kaido, spread very rapidly around the world. The three captains responsible for ending their, dec their decades of dominion were all issued an extraordinary bounty by the government. Eustace Captain Kidd, 3 billion. Monkey D. Luffy, 3 billion. Trafalgar Law, 3 billion. Damn, that is lower than I thought it would be. I figured Kid and Law were going to be around around three billion, but damn, I ex was expecting Luffy to be a lot higher. Um, but obviously we know more detail about, detail about the feats, I suppose. Yeah, I'm I'm just quite shocked that Luffy's is on the same level, but I guess that's what's been reported. So, Monkey D. Luffy, Eustace, Captain Kid, and Trafalgar Law are now worth three billion berry apiece. I mean, I it, I guess that works for the captain chair. They'd be pissed if one of them was higher than the other, but still, it's uh, Luffy's the main character, so. Udon, Udon Wano. Boss, three billion? Captain, that's amazing. It's crazy that his, his bounty's only doubled for helping with the defeat of two Yonko. That's kind of mad. But it, they've used the, uh, the Gear 5 picture, so that's really cool, actually. I love Kid's picture as well. That's really good. Hey, where did that Oath Kid run off to? He had a funny look in his eye. Gotta be to the flower capital. Fa fa fa. It's kid we're talking about here. There's only one thing on his mind. Let's follow him. I heard there's a festival today. Perfect. Let's celebrate. Looks like things are getting complicated. We shall start with a course of cloud ear mushroom and a crown daisy soup. Then a plate of sai tofu followed by a bowl of lotus roots. We also have small sunomono dishes as a side. Oh yes, do not forget the tall bowl. Everything must be impeccable there. These are not your run-of-the-mill patrons. Make sure everyone, everything is mashed and boiled properly and triple check for poison. Now then, time to serve. I put everything I have into this menu. It is truly a full course meal fit for a shogun. Please enjoy. Ooh, look at this setup, bro. And Jinbei's the first there. Nice. Wow, it looks delicious. Thank you for all your effort. I'm afraid the others couldn't wait the full two hours. From the sounds of it, they're really going to town out there, aren't they? <laughs> um, everything's free tonight. Free? They've got shooting games and goldfish scooping. There's chocolate bananas. 
Yaki Soba Takiyaki. <laughs> Look at the squad. Oh, Yamato there too. I love it. Oh, Yamato, Luffy, and Chopper. Um, anybody else there? Doesn't seem like it. Just these three. Look, grilled squid and candy apples. Cotton candy too. This is my first festival. It's amazing. Whoa, you go, Brooke. Yeah, listen up. This is the next number of Brooke's performance. Was a favorite of brother. Oh, it was a favorite of brother. Brother Odin. It's called Moon Princess. Princess Yori. Castle Basement. Oh, so this is where Robin is. Robin, you look fine as hell. Uh, you like them, Mika Robin? Tengu-san, how do you know my name? You're looking at my personal collection. How do you know my name? Why would he know your name? Um, they're my majestic Kokeshi dolls. Cute, aren't they? Not really. Huh? <laughs> Why would your collection be down here? This was originally something of a secret hobby room for me. However, I ended up in prison down here for a number of years. Imprisoned? I thought you were a swordsmith. Who exactly are you? I took to smithing because I had talent for it, but it was always just a hobby. Governing is such weary work, after all. Oh, shit. Okay, so he doesn't have a long nose. What? I am Kazuki Sukiyaki. Father of Kazuki Odin. Oh, fuck. Damn. I completely forgot about this guy. That's nutty. Wow, that is such a revelation. Holy shit. Does Mobo-chan know about this? He does not, and I do not intend to tell him. I would not be surprised if some of his retainers have deduced my identity. But how could I possibly show my face now? Of course he'd want to see his grandpa. Why would he not? I am the one who allowed Orochi to come to power. I was barely able to escape from this room by the time I had. Odin was already dead, and Wano had changed. I contemplated committing seppuku there and then. Tengu-san. It should be somewhere in this country. The ancient weapon, Pluton. Bro, Robin got right to the fucking point. What the hell? At last, sorry, at least that's what the Poneglyph said. In Adabasta. Oh, wow. Indeed, it is here. Former prisoner of mine, Udon. What's going on here? King's son. Wait, what the fuck is happening here? Who's doing this? Queen Summer. Hey, a post diet physique doesn't suit me. <gasps> oh, fuck. Green Bull. Give it a rest already. At my rank, I'd lose face if I let a few commanders like you get the best of me. Damn. The Navy, he's like absorbing the power. The Navy doesn't have manpower to waste on the mess you've left us. Not that I expected much of you bozos. Are we about to see his face? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Ring, got up, got up, but up, but up. Phew. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> that booze wasn't anything special. You shouldn't, you should have let it age longer. Click, click. Oh, click. Hello, this is... Yeah, I'm in Wano. Bring a warship over. Huh? Oh, Ryugo. Don't tell so Sakazu Sakazuki-san what I'm up to. Got it? See ya. Bro. <laughs> He's like a fucking gangster or something. Navy Headquarters Admiral Ryugo. Ryu... How do you say his name? Ryukugyu. Ad Adamaki. So Adamaki is like a, like a different version of it, I suppose. I've always dug his style. No half measures. I'm itching to get his approval. I can see it now. He's sure to give me an attaboy if I bring him this brat's head. Okay, so it looks like he's definitely going for Luffy then. I like the style. The pants kind of remind me of um, Katagori. I like how he's got flowers on it as well. Every, like he's making flowers where he walks too. Interesting. Flower capital. One more time from the top. To the ninja pirate mink samurai alliance. Who's that? To the retainers, Yakuza, and the rest of Wano. Keep going. Way to go. You all fought great. We'll leave the rest. We'll leave the toasting to you. Yeah, you're our chief rallier. <laughs> don't tell anybody in Wano about me. But why? Because I don't want to be a hero. <laughs> Fucking Luffy, man. Oh. Straw hat. Huh? If I crush you here. All right. Here's to. <laughs> They've been lit. All right. Here's to all his feasts to come. Here we go. <laughs> Jaggy. Fucking Luffy just wrapped his uh, arm around him. Why is he, uh, immediately after seeing the 3 billion bounty, he's like, right, I've got to fight this guy just to let everybody know who's stronger. Wow, what a double page spread. Cheers! Let's drink and party till dawn. That's kind of sad that Wano doesn't know who, you know, who did it. And they all believe that Momo was the one to take down the Emperors. Uh, yeah, let's drink and party till dawn. Oh, I fucking love this page, man. It's so 
relieving after all this, all this time of this fighting. Pirates sure are rowdy. This is the biggest and wildest festival I've ever seen. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Keenum on down there with his wife. Um, I want nothing to do with this crap. See here, I came to kill you. I don't really know what's going on. The in <laughs> I don't really know what's going on on the outside, but <laughs> Luffy's Gear 5 powers just break now. <laughs> Uh, they've announced the names of the four ep- <laughs> Boggy! <laughs> For fuck's sake! You're kidding me! Boggy, I mean, okay, so we got Shanks, we got Blackbeard, Luffy finally officially announced, um, stated as an emperor. Why is Boggy there? What has he done now? Oh my fucking god. So this is, this means Boggy's gonna have like a one bit. <laughs> I don't believe it. He's gonna have like a one billion something berry bounty now for some mistaken reason. I'm actually kind of glad that they, they've kept up with this trope of Buggy just being thrown into shit. Uh, the fact that he's on the same level as Shanks now is fucking ridiculous as well. Oh my god. I can't believe that. Holy shit. They've really gone whole hog on the music and festivities. Well, we Marines aren't in such a good mood, especially since the rest of the world is a real mess now. Good. The times are changing. Chapter 1053 and four week break. One Piece will resume in issue 34. Chapter notes. Uh, so it appears to be the reference to the famous 91st episode named for the sit hit the picket, which was later bombed by Nazis. Okay, interesting. It's since become a symbol for anti fascism. Nice. Uh, but Yoko design is based on acclaimed actor and music artist Harada Yoshio. His name, Adamaki, comes from the 1990 film. Oh, nice. So it's like another um, Admiral based off of uh, an actual real person. That's nice. That's awesome. Um, Adamaki is also a pawn on seeding, which is an allusion to his powers. Very cool. Uh, his tattoos read Shy Death Kara River Jinju in mind. So Death River in mind. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ooh, and the color page too. Oh, it's so freaking cool, man. So cool. Right, so that was chapter 1053. Man, oh, the new bounties, quite surprising. Uh, the, considering how much everybody was kind of speculating at what the bounties be, uh, were going to be. Uh, me personally, I was thinking that Luffy's was definitely going to be higher than other people's. Uh, I was aiming for around the 4, 4.5 billion mark. Um, so this feels kind of low, especially considering it's only a double of the 1.5 billion bounty, which was just breaking into Big Mom's wedding. Um, this completely changes how the world is viewed now, especially the, the powers to be. Um, yeah, it just kind of feels like a low ball. I don't know. Guess we'll see where it goes from here. Mm, I mean, like I said, the, the, the world doesn't know the full details of what happened here. Um, for all they know, for all they could know, they, they might, uh, they might believe that Luffy wasn't the one. I guess they were just in, to help take down. The Emperors. Um, maybe they believe Momo did it or something. I'm not sure. But I would also like to see the rest of the crew's bounties and to see maybe if Yamato gets a bounty too. That'd be really freaking cool. Um, but we won't see that for a month, which is disheartening. Um, this this is like the feast, the mwah, chapter to Wano. We'll likely get more chapters in Wano after the break comes back. Uh, especially with uh, so many plot points here. Actually, to think about it, Robin, straight to the point, mentioning Pluton. Um, being here after what she saw on a poneglyph. Is this a road poneglyph or is it just a regular poneglyph? Because it's it's displayed as white here, but it might just be because it's in the shadow. Um, I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, what well, to be she did say the Pluton was on the poneglyph from Adabasta. So this may just be the road poneglyph. Um, I can't really tell with it being black and white. Crazy that this is Odin's dad, though. We've seen him for this long. Since basically the start of Wano, and he's been here all this time. I I kind of forgot about his character. I also forgot if he was alive or not. I wasn't sure, um, because I've, there's been so many chapters and chapters in Wano, so much to think about. Yeah, goddamn, so many plot points in this goddamn in this chapter. The colors, I love the double page double page spreads, man. Oda's been popping off lately with those. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed with Luffy's bounty, but. I think it could have been higher, but there's obviously reasons why it's been picked as that. Uh, we've got Green Bull's face, his kind of look. Very interesting. 
it seems a bit different from what I can remember from when he was first like revealed the silhouette of him uh, when he was speaking to Fujitora. Um, his personality seems like I don't know, he's like a gangster kind of type, takes no shit. Maybe maybe yakuza that that kind of style. Um, yeah, I can't get really a grasp of his personality yet. Although uh, I was thinking whether you know, because all the admirals are different on how they view Luffy and how they view justice and so on and so forth. This one seems to be kind of a and he was like saying that. An Anna boy from Sakazuki, Sakazuki. So I don't know, maybe kind of a lapdog character. I'm not sure. Yeah, he seems cool regardless. So wiping out all these commanders. Yes, they were heavily damaged, but it's still quite a feat. Especially like he's brutal as well. He's killing all these people too. Very wild. Um, we don't know if King and Queen are going to die here. Possibly. We probably not though. I'm not sure. Uh, he might just he might imprison them. He send it says said to send a warship. Uh, they might they might throw a buster call. I don't know. There are innocent people here, so hopefully not. But yeah, very good chapter. Lots to to analyze here. Fucking love this spread, man. <laughs> Kid and Luffy there. Kid's like, fuck off, get off me. Let's party and uh, drink and party till dawn. I really want to know why Buggy has become a Yonko. The bombastic clown. That's kind of a cool name, actually. Redhead Shanks, Straw Hat Luffy, Blackbeard Teach. Yeah, man. Wow. I mean. I suppose he's been named as an emperor for what reason? What specific reason? Why has Luffy been named as an emperor? I mean, at this point, they must know that he was the one to take down Kaido, maybe from the CP, surely from the CP0 agents. Why specifically, though? Surely they'd, they'd up the bounty. They'd up the bounty knowing... That's, that's what I don't get. These The Captain Trio have all had their bounties up to 3 billion for their part in the raid and the taking down of two... two um, to Yonko. Why hasn't Luffy's bounty gone further than them? Because of the fact that he has such an insane devil fruit that the world government wants. He doesn't want to be released to anyone. Um, he, that, it just, it frustrates me. There's so many reasons why Luffy should have a higher bounty. Um, uh, but yeah, that's, that's enough of me analyzing that. Um, I'm excited for the next chapter, uh, in a month's time. So, as always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction to this. Have a nice rest of your day. Like the video as well. And peace out.